Hello and welcome, my name is Dr. Wabble. We are back at the lab today. Well, last time we built this little enchanting area. The first proper thing built in our house. We've got the water tower, that's technically outside, so I'm not counting that. And we've got some storage downstairs, but that's all temporary. This is the first real thing in the in, in my little base area. And I threw about the idea of when we move villagers in, having a little villager area within each square. Now, obviously, this is going to take some time to figure out fully design, etc., etc., etc. But I did then have a couple of live streams where we got all of that done. We got the whole thing designed, we started collecting the resources, and if I head just outside, you may notice that there is a little chest there. Because now I have finished collecting the resources, I have crafted everything together. This is all I need to turn this into a little area, and then I have a load of banners to place as well. So I think before we get started on getting the actual villagers ready, let's get the place ready for them to move in. Let's take a little look at what we've got here. So, first of all, with the actual stands themselves, I wanted to continue the idea of the fade. We've got lanterns on top because I've blocked off some of the lights. Um, and of course, as you can see, some of them are doubles. Those are the, the main bits to point out that are nice and clear and in front of you. We have a slabbed uh, section across the sides as well as chains, which means I can very easily walk through them. But the villagers will not see a path. So they will remain in their areas, making it nice and easy for me. We, of course, then have banners to tell me what sort of stuff I can buy from each group. We've got lanterns for the librarians because they can sell lanterns and I couldn't make anything else. Then we've got sheep for the shepherds. We have different colours, so I will be rearranging these depending on what the shepherds in each area are selling. Same with the masons, wherever I've got... Here we go. Got masons with coloured bricks, depending on what colours of stuff they're selling. Uh, we've got piles of redstone for the clerics, because I will mostly be buying redstone from them, knowing me. And then we have cartographers with a nice world map. And then over here, close to our enchanting area, where we can actually buy tools and armour. So, uh, that's the layout. I really like it. I think it works nicely. It's like a little indoor market. 
we may end up decorating these things. I've yet to decide. Um, but that's all for here. So then, we we need we need to get villagers. This doesn't work if we don't have villagers. And I know we need to do some price reduction. I've been having a chat with Weird and Bearded. So I think I'm going to put out a load more beds so that we can get the villagers constantly breeding. And then I'm going to set up a little temporary holding area that I can get them into easily, hopefully. Probably around here. We can give them jobs, make sure they are selling what we want to buy, do any necessary price reduction, figure out a way of getting them up there. But for now, I'm just going to get this basic setup sorted and we'll see what we end up with. Hey, buddy. Do you, you want to... Do you want a hat? Um, I threw that terribly. I threw that terribly. Put the hat on. Put the hat on. Oh, you're not going to put the hat on. Uh, uh, you're not a good friend. You're you're a bad friend. Put the hat on. Give you one more chance. Okay. I'll get another friend then. No, not you. You're you're also not a good friend. Why did I not bring my sword with me? Are you going to be a good friend? Yes, you are. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Follow me. That's it. This way. This way. Who's a good zombie? You're a good zombie. That's it. You're a good boy. We've almost got you in your new home. I hope this works. I haven't really tested this. But I don't see why it shouldn't work. Okay, okay, let's bring you around. So we've I built this area inside. I thought it would be easier to get them there if they're nice and close. Oh, it didn't... Hey, it worked! Almost didn't work, but then it worked. Uh, so now we can bring villagers in here, and then I can get them nice and close to the zombie when I need to attack them. Okay. Let's get everything else set up. Okay, folks, I think I have a plan. So we've got our zombie in the corner. I've also got a chest nearby with not many, but some golden apples so we can do some healing. I don't have any potions of weakness, but the first thing I want to do is get some Fletchers until I get one who sells arrows of weakness. Now, I'm not going to kill off any villagers. We're going to have a big village, so we've got a lot of spare villagers. That's fine. So I'm going to mark off an area to put in any villagers that don't match our needs. So we can release them later. I don't want to release them now. Because then they'll find beds and we won't get so much breeding done. We are at maximum bed capacity at the moment. In fact, we're over it. But I have enough resources on me for another 64 beds, which I'll put in here. So we should get a constant flow of new villagers going. And then it's just going to be a case of trade, trade, trade. Try and get everything I need. I don't know how long this is going to take. So I want to get started nice and early. I think we're going to do this in another big time lapse. So I'm just going to start sectioning everything off as we go. Um, I'll move the job blocks from upstairs down here. I'm going to make some more of some of them. Such as uh, stone cutters. The, ooh, the looms and the lecterns. Because with those... We want quite specific trades, but we don't necessarily know which ones we need until we've got them. 
So I'm probably going to want to make more than we need. Now, most of those, we've got the resources easily to make more. I am going to have to go kill some more spiders to get some more string for the looms. But apart from that, I think I'm ready to go. So, yeah. This is going to be a weird time lapse. Enjoy it. Okay, we have made an excellent start. I'll, I'm going to talk you through everything that happened there because that was about 10 hours worth of trading and I just said we've made a good start. So first of all, you may have noticed it was quite a while into the time lapse before we started getting any of these guys in because it took me so long to find a Fletcher who was going to sell me arrows of weakness i did have to make some splash potions i made six that was all i was able to make with the resources that i had now as i said we're not going to be getting rid of them so for now i have a lot of fletchers in what i have dubbed the rectangle of shame but so far it's only fletchers in here we will be getting more villagers in here because then there's what i've been doing with the rest of the villagers so first of all we'll go through the ones that we're keeping that's nice and easy. There's the clerics. I don't particularly care. Yeah, I don't particularly care what trades the clerics have except for redstone. And they're all going to have redstone. So, yeah, they. I'm keeping all of them. They will be transferred upstairs. I'm going to do all the transferring in one go at the end. I feel like that's going to be easier. Uh, I'm going to be keeping the leather worker because at this point they're guaranteed to have all the trades that I need in, in terms of They'll have all of the leather stuff. I don't need any of the leather stuff. It's just nice to have. Um, the weaponsmith is guaranteed to have the trades that I want in terms of the diamond sword, etc, etc. The toolsmith does not have a guarantee. That's why I've taken it this far. But now I've got the hoe, which is the only one that wasn't certain. So uh, they'll be kept. And the armorer is guaranteed to get the four bits of diamond armor. I'll be keeping him as well. Then we have our eight cartographers. Again, 
all of them are guaranteed because it's all about the glass pane trade which even though he's saying three i do have generally speaking the wall down to one but some of them rise up occasionally maybe i'll do some more price reduction with them just to keep it down low but then we have these three rows of villagers so here we have the librarians uh, i went through making sure i had a good first trade and then unlocked all of their others most of these guys i'm getting rid of they're kind of useless to me right now there's a similar story amongst the others because i want to make sure that across the 14 i have one of everything i have all the book trades at the highest levels some of them are all right so we have <laughs> i say some of them uh this one and this one these two are the only two that have three trades at max level so i'm probably going to get rid of everybody else and bring in a load of new guys so they're all going into the rectangle of shame then over here we've got 16 shepherds because i want to have each color of wool twice so i'm going to have to have two shepherds selling yellow wool two shepherds selling magenta wool etc etc but it means that all the 16 have to be just right they're all going to have some combination of the colors and again i've only actually got uh this one selling two different colors of wool and this one i've got a spreadsheet next to me where i'm keeping track of how everybody's doing so they're not doing great either that's a, another 14 villagers into the rectangle of shame and then finally we've got the masons so we've got two good librarians two good shepherds and then we got this guy selling two colors of terracotta i don't want glazed terracotta because i can always glaze regular terracotta i can't deglaze it so i got this guy with two colors of terracotta then uh i believe it's this one got two colors of terracotta and again Oh, no, 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 there is another one. Oh, who was I just looking at? Was it you? Yes, it was you. We do have a third with two colours. So they're doing slightly better, but everybody else, i got to get rid of. I've got to start again. Unfortunately, I've kind of run out of time. So this is going to be part one. There's going to be the other part of me dealing with all the villagers next week, possibly with some fancy graphics. So we're going to get them all sorted make sure i have the villagers that i want which i'll be doing in tomorrow's live streams and then we've got to figure out how to get them up top which i'm sure will involve some weird shenanigans but in the meantime if you like the episode please leave a like subscribe if you haven't already my name is weird and bearded and i will see you all next time